I'm going to get you to talk about the story of Gordon. Why did you choose to end the book with his story? And Gordon is um, the man who escaped the Louisiana plantation during the Civil War and made his way to a Union camp. And you, you might, folks might not know the name Gordon, but they know the picture that was taken of him. And his is the, the iconic and painful photograph of black man with um, shirtless showing his just slashed over back from what could only be um, torture uh, at the hands of folks at those plantations from, from the whips. Um, talk about the story and why you decided to end your book that way. Yeah. Here's why, Jonathan. There has been much glory in the world of cinema in this country. But there's also been much pain. Um, and it's easy to think of movies as hooray for Hollywood. But the tone of this book is hooray for the truth. Uh, and if you look at this country, it is still split right down the middle. That's why people inside of our country attack the U.S. Capitol. We turned the picture around. We showed the unattractive backside of this country. Uh, and I think that if you look at Gordon, started in the Civil War, uh, and then some years later, you have this movie, 1915, in the birth of a nation. And then you have the 1919 infamous uh, Red Summer, where there were riots. Uh, and then you go years later, and you have Martin Luther King Jr., 1963, March on Washington. Two of the biggest names at that march were Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte. So when you turn cinema around, when you turn our country around, we all love our country. We all love the movies. We all want to keep going to the movies. But we also must love the truth. Uh, and the truth, part of the truth of America is the backside of Gordon. That's part of the truth. And that visual, uh, that cinematic photograph uh, is as important as what young Miss Frazier did on the day that George Floyd was being murdered. Uh, she made a mini movie uh, of the pain in the backside of this country.